Hey everyone, Maurice here from uh, Carnivore Diet app. In today's episode, I'm actually gonna share my story with everybody. Because uh, everybody was asking me, you know, how did I get started? Um, how I became a nutritionist and why am I actually helping people? So to give you a better understanding about myself, I've been in the uh, nutrition industry probably for more than 18 years. I am fully certified as a holistic nutritionist. I am fully certified as a nutrition specialist as well too, here in Canada and in the US. Now, what got me to dive in so deeply into the nutrition is due to my incident that I had six years ago when I experienced my first heart attack. Um, luckily to be alive, of course, but imagine this coming from a Mediterranean um, lifestyle and you know when you hit a certain age you go to the doctor you get your blood work done your physical uh, checkup and suddenly the doctor comes up back to you and says hey your LDL is high now what is high you know 220 millimolar 300 millimolar and suddenly they want to put you on a statin pill. Me being on a statin pill and adapting on a vegan diet for almost nine years following my MD at the nine years mark which is going back six years ago that's when I experienced my heart attack and of course when I was in the hospital and getting a full picture of my arteries and my heart functioning my arteries were super super stiff because my consumption of fats was pretty much zero to none almost and the unfortunate thing yes I did have two stents put in and I have about six blocked arteries till today um, so since that incident that happened back in 2015 almost six years ago um, I dived in a lot deeper into the nutrition and I start looking into the Paleolithic diet, the carb loading diet, the ketogenic, so on and so forth. So from that day on, I started the paleo uh, for about one year. After that, went straight uh, three years on a ketogenic. And being on a ketogenic, don't get me wrong, it worked really well. I went from 180 pounds down to about 150 pounds, felt great, lost a lot of weight. But after the two year mark, I started to kind of fatigue weakness, thyroid is not functioning well, and I have noticed that I would never leave my house without uh, actually making like a keto uh, cookie or, or possibly uh, having some type of snack or having coffee even with the MCT oils and a whole bunch of stuff. Going back two years ago, before I became fully on a carnivore diet, I ended up experiencing another heart attack. It was my second heart attack just because uh, two of my arteries that were at 40%, they went up to 80% and one of them ended up uh, breaking where the plaque burst and you end up experiencing another, another heart attack and I ended up getting a third stent. So from then I knew that the ketogenic wasn't my ultimate diet. So after that, that's when I actually was talking to a lot of influencers, a lot of people on Instagram and everybody was encouraging, you know, to, to uh, try the carnivore diet and kind of see how it goes. So I went on a carnivore diet. That was about two years ago after my heart attack and Yes, uh, my LDL kept going up, of course. It went from 300 millimolar, 600 millimolar, and finally my last one was almost, you won't probably believe that, went as high as 980 millimolar. So obviously something is not right, being on a carnivore diet, or possibly, you know, my body's not utilizing the fats properly, or maybe I am deficient in something. Nobody knows. So, uh, was not in a statin pill, of course. Uh, the doctor seen these numbers are kind of going crazy. And keep in mind, I am on a specific medication for my stent. Um, so after being on a carnivore diet, on a cooked carnivore diet for about six, seven months, finally I said, you know what? Something is not working right here. Either me cooking the food or me overeating or something is not really stable for my body. 
So I went on full raw carnivore. And after adapting on a full raw carnivore, eating strictly meat and wild salmon daily, um, going anywhere between 0.7 grams to about 0.9 grams per one pound of body weight, my fat ratio on certain days it would be one to one ratio, sometimes it would be two to one. And I started doing testing on every 30 days. And what I've noticed is my LDL starting to drop starting to drop but not just the LDL itself that's that number doesn't really matter my HDL start to go up my triglyceride is dropping my LP little A is dropping my ApoB is dropping so everything is starting to kind of stable so maybe you know carnivore raw carnivore for me was the optimal thing that I chose and after being on a carnivore raw carnivore for about a year and a bit I did uh, a cellular uh, blood test to kind of find out what am I deficient in, what am I struggling in, or what is it that I'm actually missing in my diet that I'm constantly having high LDL and I'm constantly having these uh, heart attacks. Like, yeah, I know I am living with uh, about four arteries, have another heart attack anytime. So, red, there's nothing wrong with red meat, there's nothing wrong with eating a strict diet, strict carnivore, raw carnivore. And after I did my test, one of the things that showed in my test is I'm super deficient in two things. Uh, vitamin B3, which is niacin, and we know niacin is really, um, is a must for anybody with possibly high cholesterol or raised LDL and the other one was actually magnesium and I was kind of shocked to see that magnesium would be super deficient so what I start doing is I went on uh, a challenge I put myself onto a challenge for 60 days straight to see how far I can lower my LDL how far I can raise my HDL and actually lower anything oxidized LDL or any type of inflammation such as HSCRP because my HSCRP would always fluctuate from uh, 0 0.9 to about 7, 0 0.9 to about 7 and I could not figure it out. Um, so 60 days, raw carnivore, only eating meat, only eating fish, mega dosages on magnesium, consuming up to 1200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate and magnesium chloride and consuming about 500 milligrams of niacin uh, b3 with my last meal sometimes i would do a thousand milligrams on and off and from being as high as almost 850 millimolar within about 42 days dropped down to uh, 110 so whole time of me having to experience the heart attack okay be a prior of me changing to a paleolithic or ketogenic you know maybe the the vegan wasn't that great because it put me in such a high deficiency level that actually destroyed my heart and you know went on a ketogenic possibly you know I wasn't getting the proper nutrients just because consuming the high fat but sometimes overeating on a lot of uh, greens and vegetables and we know all the anti-nutrient finally went on a carnivore, you know, previous to me going on a carnivore, experiencing a heart attack, obviously my body was still deficient. So went on a carnivore, obviously my body right now is getting all the nutrients and it's actually inclining. So right now I am, yes, still taking heavy dosages of magnesium. My LDL went down, my HSCRP is at between, right now it's ranging between 0 0.5 and 1.2 which is not bad it's better than being on seven and everything is stable so i will give this another few more months and with ashley and i will actually get off the magnesium and do another cellular uh, blood work just to see what i'm at and if the numbers make sense and they're balanced then guess what the carnivore diet is the ultimate diet that will actually heal i believe that it would actually heal anything uh, any chronic symptom or anything from heart disease or anything else and I think I'm the only one who's actually sharing the story right now that's actually living with a heart disease and everybody asking me well you know tell us about your accident what happened so this is my accident this is my initial story how it got me started so after all these incidents that I've experienced and having two heart attacks here I am standing in front of you right now and telling you this is what I'm doing for my diet. Red meat and fish and yes, heavy dosages of magnesium.
I will continue doing testing and I will actually share it with everybody. And what got me on actually creating the carnivore diet app is to give my 110% to every person out there. Whatever issue you have, I'm here to help you and give you free advice to my best knowledge. I really appreciate your time and actually watching this video and understanding where I come from. And definitely, if you know anybody that is struggling with heart disease, definitely share this story with them because I believe it will benefit every person out there. Thank you for watching.